what time it is. It is meal prep Monday. If you're new here, I'm Mrs. Freckles. I talk about faith and lifestyle and everything in between. And if you're returning, I hope you've been enjoying the meal prep videos. We're about to go ahead and get into this one. This week, we're actually only going to meal prep one thing, and that's going to be dinner. We're going to do some salsa salsa chicken that we're going to be able to put into some uh, carb balanced tortillas. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, y'all, first things first, go ahead and wash our vegetables for our pico de gallo. Wash some cilantro as well. So we got four aroma tomatoes, two jalapenos, and some cilantro. Now, this is going to be based off of what you need. So you add cilantro as needed. Just want to make sure it gets all white, washed, and clean. Next, we're going to go ahead and cut up all of the vegetables. Start off with the tomato. Alright, so, so far we've cut up three tomatoes, two jalapenos, now we're about to cut up some cilantro, just taking the leaves off of the sticks. You can cut it with the sticks, but I'm choosing not to. Um, so I grabbed about a handful, probably about half of a bunch that you can buy from the store, and we're just going to chop that up. Now we need to prep our lines so that the juice flows freely. I'm gonna do two. Not sure how much I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna have two options in case. I'm gonna roll them until they're nice and squishy. like a stress ball. Need it, 
I'm also gonna add just a little bit of black pepper. I think you can give a little more flavor instead of adding more salt. All right, before we can actually wash our meat, we need to measure it out. The recipe typically calls for two pounds, but I think we're gonna do four, so. So 3.3.7, all right, so we're gonna cut that up. Well, actually, we're gonna wash it first. Now we're gonna go ahead and chop up our meat. Put them into like cubes, I think. About this size is good. Alright, so once you're done chopping up all your chicken breasts, we're gonna put them back into the bowl. I'm going to add some olive oil, about two tablespoons of that, some onion powder, garlic powder, and then I think I'm choosing to put some adobo in there. And a mix. All right, now we're gonna assemble. So we're gonna put out all of the chicken breasts into a baking pan, lay it out flat, evenly. Then we're going to add our pico de gallo to it. Lastly, we're going to go ahead and add two cups of cheese and make sure to spread that evenly. Next, we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven because the oven is warmed up. Cook for 30 minutes. Alright, y'all, so it is done and looking so yummy. I'm gonna show you guys how I put it together. Okay, so first I go ahead and I scoop out some of the chicken mixture, put it into two carb balance uh, tortillas that I kind of like toasted in the skillet. After I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and add in two tablespoons of sour cream. Each taco gets one tablespoon. Sorry, this isn't pretty, did the best I could. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some medium taco sauce to each taco. Each one gets a tablespoon as well. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe. I put these out every single Monday. We meal prepping because we're trying to lose this weight and I like to share what I have been eating and hopefully it can help somebody else. If you liked it, definitely don't forget to like, hit that like button 
and share. If you feel like somebody can benefit from this, go ahead and share it with someone. And let me know, most importantly, if you guys are making these recipes. All right, I'll see y'all next week. Thank you.